Cast. Pretty nice day today, but definitely going to be much cooler in the coming days, right? Yes, for the weekend, we're looking at a big uh, chill down and we're getting new numbers in all the time and they're confusing. We don't really exactly know how cold it will get to be quite honest at the end of the weekend, but we are expecting a big Arctic surge of air that will cool us down. The question is just how much. First, though, it's already feeling like spring ahead of time in the what middle almost of February, not quite maybe middle temperatures right now in the upper uh, 60s to lower 70s south and north of the lake. And look at our time lapse early this morning. Couldn't see anything because it was so cloudy. Then the clouds began to retreat and we have now blue skies mixing with some clouds. So overall, as uh, Paul said, a pretty nice day, kind of spring like feeling. It's more humid. We'll have at least some clouds, although clearly we have blue sky mixing in as well or actually taking over in spots. Tonight looks foggy and not too cold. Our lows near 60 or so, and just like this morning we started with some fog, we could have some tomorrow again. And the tomorrow looks uh, near like 80 degrees or so, possibly upper 70s, and scattered showers will be in the forecast tomorrow. Your hour by hour forecast right now and through this evening, you can see that we will be mainly in the 60s with clouds kind of mixing with sun. So we'll say partly to mostly cloudy winds from the north, but eventually becoming easterly. That will continue the trend with more moisture and a few more clouds and the potential for fog tonight. Our temperatures tonight, sorry about that, those were in the 40s, but should be around 60. I have 62 for the South Shore, 59 for the North Shore, so those would be the correct numbers. And then looking at our chance for rain, tomorrow there's a chance for a few spotty or scattered showers, but really it goes much higher Thursday into Friday. That's the main time for rain. And for the weekend, whew, the model's still shifting, as we've been saying. They have been going warmer. Now the new GFS model has come in at midday, uh, Tuesday and it is going a little cooler again, but not as cold as it was. Sounds like a mess and that's because it is. The models again have been bouncing around a bit. We will know more in the next few days as we get closer, but just to give you an idea of what's going on Sunday morning. So these would be our Sunday morning lows. At this point, we're looking drier for Sunday, probably dry. Both the big global models are having no precipitation, frozen or otherwise on Sunday at this point. But notice this is the Euro model and I just wanted to point out it has 40s for our area Sunday morning. Switching it to the GFS, this is the American model. Now it's saying 20s and 30s. So this is new information. Earlier this morning, it also had upper 30s and 40s. Now with this latest run, it has dropped back into the 20s and 30s. We're going to fast forward to Monday morning now, which I think might be the coldest. And notice the Euro is still pretty steady. 30s to lower 40s. So this would be very familiar territory for us in South Louisiana. We've hit these kind of temperatures in the mornings when we get cool snaps several times over the past few weeks. But here is the colder air for the GFS. The GFS has Monday morning 20 or so on the North Shore and middle to upper 20s even south of the lake. So that would include the city of New Orleans. So what to do with a forecast like this? It's seven, six, seven days out at this point for the Sunday into Monday time frame, which is looking the coolest. So we we will just have to kind of wait for a little bit and hang tight as we get a better idea of how far south that Arctic air is going to plunge, how much of it is going to make it into our area. So the European model has been going pretty solidly warmer than the GFS this whole time. So we will see how it plays out. You can see on Sunday it might be windy. This weekend will certainly be chilly, but we're talking about just how chilly or how cold it will get. For now, I kept a light freeze Monday as the coldest morning in the seven day forecast, but we will see. You can remember to check back with our forecast later this week.